Hello YouTube, we are doing free code camp, JavaScript algos and data structures course. Uh, we are in the basic JavaScript course and we are on challenge 46. So today we are going to manipulate arrays with shift. So dot pop always removes the last element in an array, but what if you want to remove the first? That's where shift comes in. Just It works just like dot pop, except it removes the first element instead of the last. So if we have an array, a variable that is equal to an array, and we wanted to remove the first element, the zero with index, Stimson, we can say remove from array, array dot shift, and parentheses because it is a built-in method, which is a function, so you gotta have the parentheses. And it looks like here, because we are assigning it to another constant, another variable, uh, we are actually taking that Stimson value and assigning it to this because this variable is equal to our array dot shift, which not only manipulates, changes our original our array, but also returns, because this is a function, the value it took off, the Stimson value. So we're going to do the same for this challenge, I imagine. We're going to use dot shift to remove the first item in my array and assign the shifted off value to a new variable removed from my array. So exactly what they're doing here. This is uh, literally just copying their code and kind of doing it with another example. Uh, but that's how you learn. So what we're gonna do is assign it to removed from my array, and that's gonna be equal to the shift of our original array, my array. So we're gonna say my array dot shift and that's all we should have to do and it works because we're taking that value and we're assigning it to removed from my array and that should should now contain John 23 because that's the first value the first the zero with index rather of my array and if we also whole thing. If we also console log my array, we should see that that value is now removed, which it is. So that works. That's all we have to do for this one, and I'll see you in the next.